hey what's up guys hope you all are doing well today i am back with another video ddwrt is a linux based alternative open source firmware suitable for a great variety of wlan routers and embedded systems the main emphasis lies on providing the easiest possible handling while at the same time supporting a great number of functionalities within the framework of the respective hardware platform used. I will be showing few of the features because of which I would never revert back to the stock firmware of the router I use, which is a TP-Link TL-WR740N version 5. The first feature is the ability to set up my DDWIT as a wireless client to connect to other wireless networks with ease. Many stock firmware have started to support this feature, however, the method is quite confusing and troublesome. Navigating to wireless section and selecting the wireless mode to client, configuring the SSID and password, and the wireless client is up. The second feature is setting up multiple virtual APs while the router is configured as a wireless client as well. Each AP can be configured with a different name and a different passphrase, all with a click of button to add virtual AP. Most routers don't allow adding the WAN port to the LAN ports or changing the VLAN configuration. DDWRT can easily allow assigning the WAN port to the switch for one extra LAN port perhaps. An extension to previous feature. In DDWRT, you can easily configure VLANs. You assign different ports to different VLANs each with its own DHCP server, isolated IP addressing and much more. Now, my favorite and most used feature is the MAC IP binding. Now, MAC IP binding is easily available in any of the router. However, to assign a host name for each entry make life so much easier. It can basically function as a DNS server for your home network. Moving on to access restriction, blocking and filtering request in your network at a packet level in DDWRT is ease with breeze. You just enable a policy and configure it as required. And at this moment, I am blocking URL by address here, Instagram and Facebook. So in my network, you can't access this from browser nor mobile app. The connection is just resetted while other works fine and I basically use it to block Windows update. Evo wondered if the internet speed is slow for only you or the entire user base or if someone is hogging all the bandwidth. Fear not, with the DDWRT's bandwidth monitor for each interface, you can monitor the bandwidth of both WAN, WLAN and LAN with easy to understand graph. Now, in addition to real-time monitor, you can view the internet uses on a daily basis to decide if you need to upgrade your bandwidth plans or volume plans from the traffic monitor in the WAN status space. Hover on a bar for the total downloads and uploads for that specific day. If you are into more advanced networking but want something basic with cheap equipments, you can easily set up captive portals, hotspot system and radius in your network. I basically use this when I am testing something like a radius setup. This feature may not matter to most but you can use a dark theme for this web UI pretty sick. Comment down below to let me know if there are some more significant feature that I have missed in the video. Would be really helpful to me and others as well. Thank you.